The Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Community Services. We know that good dental care is preventative health care. The Children's Dental Service has been frozen for three years despite the need for greater access to dental care. Today, there are 30,000 Nova Scotian teens who would have the lifelong benefits of good dental care if this government had kept their 2013 promise to extend dental coverage of, uh, up to age 17. Children living in families with lower incomes are going without dental care. Mr. Speaker, what has the minister done to ensure young people living in families receiving ESIA can access the dental care they need? The Honourable Minister of Community Services. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question. As the Honourable Member will know, this year, for example, we are in fact removing the calculation of, uh, of maintenance from uh, eligibility for uh, ESIA, Mr. Speaker, which means that's more money in the pockets of Nova Scotians who are receiving ESIA. The average uh, household, in fact, that does receive that maintenance is $275 per month, Mr. Speaker. That's a big increase, and I, 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 I would never tell Nova Scotians how they should spend their money, but that could be one place they could spend it. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With respect, that, uh, that money does not apply to all families on the SIA. Uh, and uh, also, the tax credit that the government likes to talk about uh, would uh, add $41 a month to the families that receive that uh, increase. So uh, that's not going to cover the need of uh, dental care. So it's also not just children who need dental care, Mr. Speaker. Their parents need it too. Poor oral health is related to increased <laughs> risk of heart attack or heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and other serious conditions. According to the department policy, dental coverage may be provided for emergency issues, including the relief of pain or the control of prolonged bleeding, or for dental problems identified as barriers to employment. People on ESIA don't have access to cleanings or other services to prevent the pain, bleeding, infection, or other complications. And if, even if coverage was provided, the department will only pay 80%. With, um, with ESIA rates at 535 a month, people cannot afford that. Mr. Speaker, does the minister agree that people on ESIA should be able to access preventative dental care so they are not forced to face pain, bleeding, and other dental complications? The Honourable Minister of Community Services. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question. I want to assure her that as, as we continue on down the path of transformation, we are looking at all options for ways that we can improve services to our clients. Thank you.